at Kareen Triplett's house, and she's going to show us how to make cinnamon rolls. And you'll want to refer to the sweet, sweet dough recipe that we worked on earlier today. Okay. Now this is going to, we're using a half a batch of the sweet dough recipe. Okay. So to make our cinnamon rolls. Now the recipe that you'll have online and on screen is for a whole, a whole set of dough. So we're just going to use half of it. For Correct. This. Correct. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this out and into a rectangle. Oh, I like that you have string out. I can't wait to see what that's going to be. Yeah. Well, I'll wait. You wait. Be <laughs> patient, Deb. Okay, roll it again out into a, a rectangle. And then, that's habit, I always throw my roller up that way, but okay, kind of fluff it or now, make when it you're into doing the. Now, are you just making sure it's not sticking to the table? Oh, I know it's not, I, yeah, not sticking to the table, but kind of get it to the size I want it to be. Oh, okay. I'm going to try to get about 12 cinnamon rolls out of this. All right. So then we're going to take butter, margarine, whatever you prefer, and just start spreading it on. How yeah, about if I grab you another knife? knife? Yes, let's do it. Okay, right over here. I'll use the one you started with. Okay. Yeah, well, kind of, you work on one side, and I'll do the other. Oh, I don't know about this. What would, you know, my, I would be tempted to melt it and pour it on. What would be the drastic, terrible thing that would happen if we did it? Well, um, I feel like it turns your sugar uh -huh. um, runny. Ew. Or your sugar would kind of combine with the melted butter and it would probably ooze out of oh, your cinnamon okay. rolls as you're rolling them um, up. I think you'd have liquid. So, um, but anyway, just I knew put. There'd be something. Um, I knew there'd be something. Yeah. And the other I reason is, is this is the way my mother did it. Oh, okay. <laughs> because mom said. Yes. She's the boss of me. I watched her. This is what she did. Okay. Okay. If you saw me make a sandwich, you'd lose your mind. I have to have it all spread. Oh. Okay. They're not going to be perfect. <laughs> no. Nope. nope. All right. Then we're going to top it with um, uh, sugar. And I have used brown sugar. Um, oh, that sounds pretty mm -hmm. good, actually. I've used brown sugar before. And it, it works fine. I've just, most generally I use just the plain white sugar, granulated sugar. And maybe just a little bit more. And you just add as much to taste, but I usually give it a nice little sprinkling of sugar. And then come in with your um, cinnamon and do a nice coating of cinnamon on there. And I'm going to guess probably a third of a cup of sugar I've put on here. And I don't know, maybe a tablespoon of cinnamon. Yeah, you know. So. By the time you get it all you covered. You don't ever mix the cinnamon and sugar ahead of time. Nope. It's just not your way. It's not my way. Okay. I always, I layer. <laughs> okay. I layer, layer, layer. Do you okay. have that pizza cutter or are we going to use Oh, no. Else? I'm going to use something else. But first of all, we have to get into the cinnamon roll. Roll. Okay. I'll so. Wait. All right. Be patient. <laughs> so I start at one end and I just start and I tuck that one and then I just work and work and work and tuck it, tuck it. Yep. Just keep on tucking it until you get that all tucked and then you just roll it up like such. Exactly. Just before you get almost to the end, just grab over and pull this side up. Yep. And pinch that off. Give it a good pinch. Pinch it to the yep. next piece. Yeah, I got it. I pinching it pretty good. Oh, no. We'll turn that over. Sticky. I don't think I'm as good a pincher as you. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Okay. And then I'm just going to take my extra flour and throw it back here. And I'm going to roll it backwards. I always roll it with my pinch oh, side down. That's nice. So let me get my pan right here, and I'm going to spray this pan with a nonstick <laughs> spray. I feel like an x-ray technician. <laughs> 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 All right, let me move this out of the way. So I sprayed my pan. I'm going to do about yeah, the cinnamon rolls. Yeah. So, and then I'm going to take thread. If you don't have thread, you can use... Um, Dental floss? Well, if it's got all that, you know how some of them have all that toothpaste in them. I would think it make a minty gross coating. I, yeah, I put <laughs> dental floss in them. Yep, I'll set this on, okay. let's see. I'm trying to think, I'll work from this side. Okay. And then I'll, um, I'll show you how I do this. I, you grab it in your hand and put your thread down on the tabletop, 
cross it over, and pull. And there you have a cinnamon roll and push it down. I, and I, I find myself quite shocked that I'm thinking of I did eyebrow threading twice in two episodes. <laughs> I did, I did, um, I did all of our cinnamon rolls when we did the bakery. Uh -huh. All of them were cut with thread. Oh my goodness. I've always cut with thread. My thread that I just pulled off is a little bit short, so I'm having trouble working it, so I'm going to grab another piece. I'm going to try one. Was it pain? Oh, I'll let you try one. I, I worked with my granddaughter this weekend on how to do, to cut this. And you are tearing it with your bare hands. Well, I feel you. Okay, like good. This. And then just cross over. Yep. And pull. Use your thread to pull it over. You can just set it over with your thread. All right. I'll do it. I'll do it right this time. I'm probably getting them too big, aren't I? And pull. And then pull it halfway. Now tip it. Yeah. There you go. Right like that. I'll pick them up as you cut them. Oh, you want me to keep so, yep. It? That was five. Oh, do that's you, a little big. Yeah. Do you think we should have done them in half? Sometimes when I'm counting, I do it in half. And no. Keep it in half. No. This is good. Mm -hmm. I'm not good at using it to pull it over. And tip it over. There you go. <laughs> there. Might not be quite underneath there yet. You don't think? Go ahead and cut it. It's not going to hurt anything. Just kind of smash yep, it. Yep, it's just a little taller on one side than it is on the other. There we go. It'll all that roll. That would be the one the mom has to eat. Mom always gets the one that's messed up. Is yep. that right? Yep. Okay, we three more rolls. Uh oh, we're going to have the extra. Yeah. There you go. Thanks for letting me do it. It's easy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's a lot better than using a knife. Oops. It moves. <laughs> okay. Now, what should we do with this one? You know, if you are, you know, I'm not going to use it today, but um, you can use this dough and you can roll it out and you can also use it for sweet petals. It does not work the other way. <laughs> no, it, it doesn't. No, we'll cut this since you broke the string. We'll just go ahead and stick these in here a little bit. Okay. Thank you. There we go. So. We're going to let this raise? Yep. This is going to raise for about 45 minutes or so. Do we have to cover it? Yep. I'll cover it, set it on my stove, cover it, and let it rise. And the stove is on, so mm -hmm. it's a warm place for it to rise. Right. Same, same. All right. We'll see you back in about 45 minutes. Okay. So these are our cinnamon rolls after they've raised for about 45 minutes. And we're going to put them in the oven, what temperature? About 350 for uh -huh. probably about 12 to 15 minutes until they're nicely brown. All right. I'll help so. you with that. Okay. We'll be back after they're brown. I say let's make the frosting so okay. they'll be ready to put on them. All right. So first of all, we're going to start with um, powdered sugar. And for a batch of sweet dough, um, you would use a half a bag or so of powdered sugar. So so. You, even though we only used half, we're going to make it for a whole batch. Yep. So I'm going to probably stir up probably about this much. And there you go. I it's think you're yeah, it's a little bit over. I'm not gonna tell anybody. But, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and basically, the frosting is just a basic um, frosting recipe. Glaze. The, yeah. Well, it's not gonna be a glaze. I use a glaze on the. So I'm gonna add about a quarter of a cup of margarine, and about um, oh, probably about a fourth of a cup of um, shortening. Okay. Yep. And then we want to put in about a teaspoon. I use my caps to measure. I don't know if anybody else does. That's Is about that a half a, a teaspoon. teaspoon. Oh, okay. No, that's not a real teaspoon. But two of those are probably about a real teaspoon. Well, so what if my bottle is a different shape? Measure I'm it. I'm just going to use it. Do you mind <laughs> grabbing my milk for me? <laughs> I don't. You don't mind? <laughs> Whole milk? Yep. And... 
Oh, there's my spoon. Okay, then you just add some milk to it. How much milk? Oh, till it looks good. That's I don't know. I start a with a small cup. amount, probably about a quarter of a cup, probably a little less. What I do is I get it to going there. <laughs> You can tell she's made it a long time. I'm like, just I it in. <laughs> don't really measure a whole lot, but. But for your on screen directions, there's a real recipe. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> and so I can easily tell it. it's going to take a little bit more of the milk. So if you dump some more of that in there for I think me. You're going to get tired stirring that by hand. Oh, no. Nope, see, it's already coming together. You need to oh, stir it up. It looks like frosty now. Wow, you got strong arms, Corinne. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of other things. That <laughs> <laughs> so you just beat that up until it's nice and smooth or to the consistency that you like. And this is about the consistency I like for my cinnamon rolls. It's not runny, but yet it'll it'll, it'll, spread, easy. it'll spread easy. Can I put the milk back then? You can. You? That'd be great. Thank you. So that's basic frosting for the cinnamon, the cinnamon rolls. So are we going to put them on the cinnamon rolls while they're hot or wait for them to cool a little bit? I let them cool a little bit. Okay. So. And they're still baking, so I guess we still got to wait. We'll see okay. you back when the cinnamon rolls are done. finally done and this is what they look like when they're all done cooking and how long did we leave them in? Oh, probably about 20 minutes on the cinnamon rolls. Yeah, yeah. it took about 20 time. minutes. Yep. We kept checking and checking and it wouldn't get done. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, so we've got our icing that we made earlier. Yep. And again, we'll just start icing these. I'm going to let you help me. Same way with um, just I've never seen a cinnamon roll that has one put on with a decorating tip, so I don't know. It'd probably make them not look that appealing. Yeah. But. And they are a little warm, so the frosting will probably melt in a little bit into well, that them. That is the best, isn't it? Yep. And this is not cream cheese icing. Sometimes they have cream cheese icing on them, right? I have never put cream cheese icing on a cinnamon roll. I don't know what that would... Do you know who does? Mrs. Rhodes from the grocery store. That's a cream cheese icing, I think. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, oh, does she? I don't know her. Yes. The room. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know those ones you buy and you just have to raise them? Yep. And they're frozen. Yep. And they still don't turn out for me, even though they're supposed to be super easy. So, this was not that hard. I wonder if I could do these. Oh, you can do cinnamon rolls. Dough is, dough is really easy to do. Well, you think it is. Yeah. Well, I think most people are frightened of it. I'm glad you're teaching us to be a little braver. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you need to be brave with your cooking. And maybe it's so. because of the fast rise yeast. Yeah, it's easy with the fast rise yeast. And yeah, you have to cut that a little yeah. bit. We'll see if I can get it out. They're still warm. I can tell by touching the pan. There you go. Oops. Oh. There you go. That's that I one. I want you to have this big one in the corner. No, you can have <laughs> the big one. There we go. This there. is actually the one I want in the middle. But I'll wait. Th those. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try them before oh, there they you get go. too cold. All right. Oh, they're so soft. And they don't have that weird crust on the bottom. <laughs> Okay. Yep, it has to go have cinnamon roll. You know what? They're better than school cinnamon rolls. And school cinnamon rolls They're are the awesome. best. <laughs> they're the best. Yep. These are good. Very soft. That's what I love is that they're very soft, not too chewy. Yep. Mmm. Delicious. Thank you. You gotta try these at home. Yep. I would invite simple. you over, but they probably won't be enough by the time you get here. So <laughs> see you next time. <laughs> see you next time on local flavor.